this is a really important video. I want you guys to watch this video all the way through because I can't believe that I've been doing PCP for over three years and I didn't even know about this sort of an option for filling up your PCP air gun. I've been screwing around with so much crap, spending thousands and thousands of dollars on these, let's just call them non-portable compressors that are supposed to fill up your scuba tank and you get your air filters and all a bunch of BS. All right, and they always break. Okay, they always break. I even spent a thousand dollars on one and it broke. So this is definitely the best option for a PCP. You can fill your 300 bar guns all the way up to 300 bar. Plug it into a wall, plug it into a shop, plug it into your car. So you guys, every five minutes my compressor turns off, so I've been pumping my tank up for, um, since about eight o'clock this morning, so half a day so far up. So I've been tanking, pumping my tank up for four hours, and I got it up to uh, 4,200. But every five minutes I have to run up here and crank that closed. Anyway, Tony sent out this compressor in the nick of time, obviously. So let's open it up and check it out. Super sunny out here. I'm going to tow it on out of here. Hold on. Well, that's better. We can see something now. All right, you guys, I'm here with my Talon Tunes air compressor. This is an affordable air compressor. You can hook it directly to your gun, get that 300 bar fill every time. No need for all that tank BS. So let's bust out a package, fill up my gun, and shoot. Let's do this. Alright, you guys, looks like today we're looking at a portable 12 volt HPA compressor. 220, 110, or 12 volt. So car battery, wall socket, or shop power. Fan cold three stage compressor. Got your power supply in there. 30 MPA or 4,500 PSI, that's 300 bar. Wow, look at all these goodies, you guys. It may take a second. So these are some miscellaneous parts. These are some air filters um, that you can change to dry the air. That you're pumping. Oh, holy crap. I didn't know it was orange. Okay, so this is way, way cooler than I thought it was going to be. And... This guy tested it too. That guy is their best tester, I already know. Yeah, that's their best tester. Um, this is looking awesome, all right. I didn't know it was orange. Oh, look at this push button. Oh my gosh, look at these buttons, you guys. They're like shiny chrome. Oh my gosh. This one right here is fan on, off, and then you got on, off on that. This is going to be a digital temperature gauge inside that little window right there. How cool. And I'm guessing this is the auto shutoff. The way these typically work is you turn this dial right here and set the needle to where you want it to shut off of and it will auto shut off. So that's super handy when you're filling your gun up and you want to walk away for a second to like put your target back up. Alright, super cool. And of course you guys, you got this handle right here. You guys, for someone that shoots air guns on YouTube, I can't actually see that well, especially in my cluttered house. So this orange color is going to make it very easy to find my air compressor. Man, it's freaking sick. Okay, so right here's the back of it, and oh, it's very, very heavy, you guys. Like, I can barely lift it up here. That's a bleed valve. Wow, okay, I'm just going to zoom in on this. So you got your bleed valve right there. And that's probably where you hook your air up, where you hook your air hose up. Right here we got a burly fan system, and I don't know what all is in there, but freaking cool. And whatever that's doing. Right here, I know, is where you plug your 12 volt DC in. Here, of course, is where your wall plug goes. Got some hardcore stats on the back right there. And there's a fuse right here, replaceable. It's a... Looks like a car fuse that would go to your car stereo, which is also 12 volt. And we got these really, whoa, we got a bunch of ventilation. That's where you're going to change it from 110 to 220. So if you want to use it on 220, just flick that. Looks like it comes set on 110. That's probably where the, mol the motor is bolted in. And then you got these nice, I already noticed, I could feel them before you could see them. But these are some really nice rubber feet, so I'm really liking this thing. What really does it for me is these super bomb ass buttons. Okay, I like modern shiny things, and so 
that's modern and shiny. And then you got this super like ghosted out temperature gauge that reveals itself when it wants to be seen. Okay, so that's super legit too. I really like this thing. Thanks, Tony. Tony gave this to me if I did a review, and I really appreciate that. Okay, I'm digging this. So this is your hose. You're gonna hook this from your compressor to your gun, okay? Or your little tank. This right here is your power supply. If you're gonna plug it into the wall, like we're gonna do in a few minutes here, we're gonna plug it into the wall and pump up my air gun, air gun technologies Vixen that Tony sent me to review. So we'll plug it into the wall and we'll get our gun charged that way. You can also plug it into your car battery. So if we were in the woods shooting this video, not a problem shoot all day because you clamp these onto your car battery you may have to have your car running sometimes you do um, so you can't just take a car battery and throw it on your back porch and turn this compressor on you might be able to but some of them you have to have your car running regardless though you want your car running if you're going to be using the battery anyway so you don't get stuck in the woods so turn your car on hook this up and your air compressor will run you could uh, shoot all day in the woods you could walk to the woods go hunting come back out of the woods charge your gun back up and go back out so these are just some miscellaneous parts. These are some air filters. You guys, one last thing that I did want to point out is this handle. It has these finger grooves on it. So it's like thick rubber with finger grooves. Pretty fancy. Just go to talentunes.com and you can see this and a lot more. Including this gun I'm about to go grab. I'm going to go grab the Vixen. You guys are going to be like, holy crap. Because it's freaking sick. All right, you guys, this gun was so cool that I offered to do a free review for Tony just so I can get one in my hands and try it out. It's an Airgun Technologies Vixen, and it's got two scope rails under here. One of them's holding my magazine holder, two mags in there. Um, this, this gun is just off the heezy. Um, that's a carry handle right there. And so M-lock rail is suppressed, um, super lightweight too. Anyway. What I'm trying to get to is this is a, the Talon Tunes bipod, and it's just got every adjustment you could think of. Okay, it goes up and down all around, and you got carbon fiber legs right here, and there's extra tips that are actually shiny that go right there. I'm gonna throw this on here, and then we're gonna pump the gun up. First, though, this right here is actually your moisture filter, so when you unscrew that, you can put change the uh, filters in there, but this is your this is a one eighth quick disconnect Foster fitting. Okay, that's your standard one eighth quick disconnect Foster fitting. A lot of the guns have that fitting right built into the gun. You just snap this in here. Here's the other end of the hose. You just snap this onto your gun or fill probe. In this case, I have a fill probe for the gun that I'm shooting today. I'm just going to go like this. Make sure that sleeves all the way down and you are good. So we're going to insert this into the gun. But I wanted to show you what happens when I plug it in. I didn't turn this on. I just plug it in and watch this. That's pretty awesome, huh? Okay, you guys, first I am going to set the pressure at 300 bar. Oh, there we go. Got a little turning knob there. Oh, there it is right there. It's already up, so I want it at 4,500. I'm going to come over here, and I'm guessing we're going to want to turn that fan on. turn your compressor off but I'm gonna go ahead and bleed my air right now 
do this bleed valve, and that will that will allow you to pull your air hose out. Oh yeah, that was cool. That did take about a minute or two, but you know, one or two minutes to fill your gun up is not bad at all. I could have done the auto shut off better. It should have been like that to where the left side of my needle is my actual point it's going to shut off. So you guys, like I said, I've spent thousands of dollars on these PCP compressors with the scuba tank set up. And the fact of the matter is, with a scuba tank, if it's up at 4,500 PSI or 300 bar, and you have a 300 bar gun, you're only going to be able to get your gun full maybe one or two times. And then you're going to be shooting at 250, 220 bar for the rest of the day. I've done it many times. So I feel that this is definitely the best option for PCP shooting. The fact that you can plug it into your wall or you could have it next to your car or truck. Basically, you can use it anywhere. You're going to get good quality dry air into your gun instead of what a yong hang or a tuxing ends up giving you is a bunch of oily, moist air that's really stinky and eventually going to rust the inside of your tank. So I can't believe that I didn't get one of these sooner. Really glad that Tony sent this out here and I was able to discover this product. You guys, my compressor just happens to fit right under my table. And my table has a little cutout just for my compressor. So I can come in here, lay my gun on the floor like that. So I got my auto shut off already set. Just pop that baby on and fill my gun. Everything's safe. No one steps on my compressor. So that worked out good for me. There is one thing I want to note though. When I plug the compressor in, I have that digital display on. There is something in there that's running. Can you guys hear that humming sound? Yeah, so you don't want to just leave your compressor plugged in indefinitely. Because definitely not the fan, alright? Anyway, I am going to go ahead and unplug it when I'm not using it. Any of you guys getting into PCP, just forget that whole scuba tank business. Get yourself one of these 12 volt portable compressors. Pump your gun up in one or two minutes. It really is a joy to use. And I'm anticipating this is going to last a long time. It's not going to be like my Benjamin Recharge that I got about eight months out of after I paid $1,300 for it. So definitely Tony's got a winning product right here. Shoot on over to Talon Tunes. You can find these compressors there. Excellent price on these. Once again, I want to thank Tony for sending this out. Definitely going to be using this a lot on my channel. All right, we got more great stuff coming your way this month. Really busy. I got the Gauntlet 2 coming in. We're going to be checking out the Cricket 2 Tactical. Delta Wolf 22 is going to get here eventually. Not to mention, and I'm really excited about this one, the Air Venturi Avenger Wood might be headed our way. So that's it for me on this one, you guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Everybody stay safe out there. We'll catch you on the next one.